uh hey guys welcome back to the channel this is just a quick update from the previous video so as you guys can see we have two more new folders in my project so along with the client and the server we have now the uh, top down shooter auth and top down shooter gateway so these two are uh, another new projects that i have added so the reason why i've added these two is because i have started following a new series on how to build a, a multiplayer game by game development center uh, by the way, this is an awesome video. I, uh, if you guys want to build uh, an authoritative server-based MMO or uh, a multiplayer game where you want an authoritative server and you want to scale it, uh, I would highly recommend you guys to check the series. This is a really awesome series. And I have just started following this. And because of that, I have this, created these two new brand new folders, uh, Godot projects for auth, auth uh, as well as the gateway. Okay. Um, yeah, so... As part of this, uh, we have a couple of changes in the make file uh, from the previous video. So uh, let's go over the change. So this is the, the left side is the one that we have in the previous video. And the right side is the newer change that we have to do as part of this uh, four new project, I mean the two new projects, right? So what is the change over here? So I just renamed the uh the session to editor. So previously I had the Godot underscore editor. So the session I have renamed it to just editor. And now I'm starting the auth server first, and then I'm splitting the window horizontally, uh, making a horizontal pane, and then I'm starting the gateway server second, and then I'm selecting the the first pane where the auth server is running. And then I'm splitting it vertically and then I'm starting the server and then I'm selecting the pane two, which is like, uh, uh, so since we have like two, two panes on the left and third pane is running on the right horizontally. So this is like the third pane and there I'm doing another vertical split. So this will essentially give us like a four way split. And in that uh, fourth pane, I'm running the client finally, right? And then I'm doing a layout even horizontal so that we get an even split uh, in all the four direction, right? And I have added the close to the dev so that every time we run the dev, uh, it just clears the previous running editor session and then it creates a brand new session for us. Okay, so let's see this in action. So I'm in my folder, the top down shooter folder where the make file is. And if I run make dev, so this is just a single command that I'm running. And if I hit enter, as you can see, we have like four, four way split pane and all the four Godot projects have been opened. So the first one is the, the client. So the order might differ, but uh, we have all, all the four open nevertheless. So we have the client, we have the gateway, we have the server and we have the auth, right? Now, going back to, going back to our make file, I have the another command for a run. So this is basically to do the testing of all the changes that whatever changes that we do in the any of the projects, right? So instead of spawning all the uh, the clients manually, we have created this uh, neat little run command. So since we have two new projects, the auth and gateway, we also have to start them before we start our server and client. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new session. Again, I'm uh, I named this uh, window to auth server. Uh, the reason why I've done it, uh, this window to auth server is because I'm actually, so since we have to create an auth uh, instance, a gateway instance, and then we have to create a server instance, and then we have to create two instances of client. So basically we have to run five instances uh, parallelly. Uh, it'll become a much more clutter. So what I, what I plan to do here is uh, the auth and gateway will be running in a separate window called auth server and then the server client uh, the server and the two clients will be running on a different window uh, just like it was running before right so for that what we have to do is uh, i'm just creating a session uh, called a game and uh, uh, naming the window auth server and in the first uh, pane i'm running the auth server uh, the auth server with the uh, auth uh, tsen and uh, this has to run as no window because this is just a server. The same can be done for gateway as well. So I'm just doing a horizontal split and then I'm doing a gateway run. 
and then I'm creating a new window called game. So this is where my uh, game server as well as the two clients are going to run. So on a new window, I'm running the uh, server with the server uh, TSCN and then I'm doing two horizontal splits and then I'm make, making sure that uh, the layout is even. Then I'm selecting the second pane and then I'm running the client one time and then I'm selecting the third pane and then I'm select, uh, running the client another time, right? And while stopping, uh, I'm just stopping the entire game session. So remember guys, this is the session name, uh, not the window name. So when you stop this game session, both the auth server window as well as the the another another window that we created called game. So both of these windows will get closed. So this the session name is the game. So uh, both the uh, both the windows will get closed when you run the stop. And uh, of course, I'm adding the stop to the run command as well, so that every time we run the run command, it automatically does stopping if it was if if it was already running right. And again, I have for the format command that we had earlier. I just added uh, two new, the, these two new folders so that it runs the GD format on these two folders as well. Okay, so let's see uh, the make run command in action. So all I need to do is I just need to go to a new tab and here I can run make run. So as you guys can see uh, in the bottom, so uh, the two clients have spawned. So if I go back to the terminal, so so this the second pane and then the third pane is the one that is running the client. As you can see here, this is the client and this is the client. And on the first pane, uh, we have the server running. But if you see at the bottom left corner, you can see that we have two new windows called zero auth server and one game. So to go to the, I can actually click on these two uh, with the mouse. But if you want to switch to the windows using uh, commands, all you have to do is just press command B and then click uh, type the uh, window number. So if I want to go to zero, I just type zero and then I go to uh, auth server window. So again, if I press uh, control B and then if I press one, I go back to game. Control B and press zero, I go back to auth server. And the reason why I have split uh, the auth server separately is because the auth server is only needed when you are actually developing in the auth server and the, these logs are only relevant at that time. But most of the time you'll be only dealing with the game server and then the the actual client logic. So that's why having the game and the client running in the separate uh, three-way pane is much more e easier because you can see all the three logs together, which will be needing most of the time. So yeah, yeah, guys. So I think uh, this is more, more helpful for you guys to understand like how to expand upon the, uh, the Tmux commands and make file that we have built earlier. Uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, the, in the next video, I'm going to cover how to do the circle CA deployment. So if you're interested, be sure to subscribe and uh, be sure to click on the bell notification, guys. Thank you.